What's up everybody and welcome back to another gold making video. Today we're doing something a little bit different and it is thanks to webgirl1573. I was streaming the other day and she showed me this really really cool trick and so I asked if I could make a video on it and she said yes. So it is thanks to her that we are making this. Anyway, before we get super into this video, I just wanted to first state you do have to have Shadowlands in order to make a Pandaren Death Knight. That is the only catch to this is you must have Shadowlands because otherwise uh, you will get a nice little error message that says you don't have the ability to make a Pandaren Death Knight. Uh, trust me, I just tried this on my alternate account who does not have Shadowlands. Anyway, we will just quickly make our character here. Doesn't really matter their name or anything because we will not be keeping them. Um, I choose Horde because I've been testing this a little bit and I think Horde is nearly a minute faster at doing this. I will point out where you can go for Alliance for this as well, but I just personally think Horde is a little bit better. Uh, so <laughs> we'll get into this. I really hate all of the loading screens for this, but here we go. The reason we are doing this on a Death Knight, more specifically on a Pandaren Death Knight, is because when you finish up the island, or I guess when you're done here, uh, Pandarens can go to a battle trainer, like a battle pet trainer, and right click to learn the Jade Crane Chick. So it is this right here. It is a, let's pull that up. It is a 5.5k region market value. On my server, it's currently going for 2.5k, still pretty good. Uh, the reason it's so high is because I think a lot of people one, don't know that it exists and that any Pandaren can, as long it's only a one-time thing, right? So you can go up to the Battle Pet Trainer and do this. There are other characters or other uh, races that do this as well, like the Worgen is really, really valuable to do this on. However, the Worgen, you do have to uh, go through all of the starting zone, which is kind of painful, which is why people don't generally farm for the pet specifically. But anyway, we'll put that to the side. So the reason why it's so good right now on the Pandaren uh, Death Knights is because it doesn't take you half an hour or an hour or whatever to go through the island, right? Uh, all you have to do is we just pledged our fealty to the Lich King and now we come back down, speak to High Lord Darien Morgane here, Morgrain, Morgrain, I don't know how to say his name. And then all we do is come out here to the Death Gate, let's... Just grab a mount, doesn't matter what it is. We are going to be ported to the front of Orgrimmar. So I did dally a little bit at the beginning and explain this to you, but we are currently at just about three minutes here. It should take you maybe three and a half minutes to do this, which is why it's so crazy good. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, let's head up. I'm gonna pause right here and just say real quick, uh, when I first did this, I thought we had to go all the way up here and learn our pet that way. And it would take you a little bit longer because you'd have to go through the elevator and up and around. But Webgirl did point out that there is another battle pet trainer over here and by the Orgmar embassy. So that is the one we are going to. So we're just gonna head over here toward Maddie. I guess we can close this out now. So we're just gonna quickly go up these stairs and then take a quick left here. And then he is just over here. So very, very, very quick run to get to Maddie over here. Right click on him. Interested in catching some rare pets? Learn our Jade Crane Chick. And there you go. So that took us, let's, let's be generous and say that took us actually four minutes. So we took four minutes to have the potential to get 5.5K gold out of doing this, right? Now, I only say potential here because I don't know what it's going to go for on your server. Obviously, some servers it's going to be less, some servers it's going to be more. It just depends on the population and the amount of people who are already aware of this. But it is absolutely fantastic because this is 100% guaranteed. It takes just a couple minutes to do. So I recommend coming out here. You honestly probably don't need to do this multiple times back to back. If you play on a couple of different servers, I recommend uh, doing this maybe a couple of times, uh, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Honestly, if you do this horde or alliance, 
If you do this on a lion side, it definitely will take a bit longer because as you saw here, we came, we came through the valley of the strength, our valley of strength, and then we went just directly west. For alliance, it takes a lot longer, I feel like. Let's actually click on the right one here. So you enter through the Valley of Heroes and then you have to make it all the way up to the Dorvern district and up and around to over here where the, the battle pet trainer is. So I would recommend doing this on a horde no matter what because this auto cages. So it doesn't matter. Uh, if you play on alliance, you can just right click and uncage or put in cage after you have already done this, right? So that's it guys. Super, super simple, really, really cool. Uh, Hopefully you guys come out here and do this and there aren't a whole lot of people already doing this on your server, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.